so i wouldn't call this session a story writing work that i could call it like an r&d for my story where you know to set up these characters what are the commonalities of these characters that can be explored in the story so that i can design a story around this we haven't touched the story part yet we are just exploring these characters what kind of characters this can be a character analysis hello and welcome to this channel story books in this channel we'll be seeing my story writing walk through this is our episode 2 uh so let's get started yesterday i got an idea about writing a story about two brothers like you know like an younger and elder one so very common characteristics that i've seen between these two younger and elder brothers the elder one would be the obedient one and the younger one arrogant one arrogant in the sense you know like a little selfish you can call it a little selfish i'll just try to increase the font I got some feedbacks the the fonts were not bigger enough the anger one will be obedient not actually living the life you know it happens in my house my friend's house a lot of people so the younger one would always be the rebellious one and the elder one actually would be the obedient one not necessarily meaning that they would look after all the stuff but it's more like accepting what they get not actually living so i thought how about writing a story related to these two brothers younger and elder one so i'll go with the male ones because it to be more relatable to me and i'll be able to provide some insights from my life let's wait for the idea to bloom the younger and elder brother fighting elder brothers are fighting it can be as simple as you know like maybe the younger took the elder stavel so most brothers you know they don't have their own personal spaces right so especially if they are two years three years difference they don't provide their personal spaces they take each other stuffs they break each other stuffs yeah we'll start from there let's see where it goes so that was a series that i saw called the ranch it stars ashton kutcher and the same direction and uh, acting team of the 70s show you know the famous one with mila kunis and uh, aston kutcher acts in those that was this one aspect about those brothers that i liked very much there was you know the elder one stays with the parents looks after the parents business stays with the father or the mother and take care of it the younger one usually you know like leaves the house once they complete their college or school and they uh, they get a chance to explore the world compared to the elder ones elder ones bear the responsibility of looking after the family uh this is a repeated event of stories that's happening in you know like and big bang theory elden uh, sheldon's elder brother is the one staying back in the village and you know like uh providing a conclusion to those fights you know the elder one leave Uh, staying there not getting a chance to even have their own idea because once they reach a certain age they will be given the position of taking care of the family staying back and looking after the business the younger one always gets an opportunity to explore the world right so how would we bring that aspect younger brother is living for job living for job the elder one who takes care of family business family business is staying back shit this is my own story i am actually leaving bangalore pretty soon for my it job and my brother is staying back to take care of the business <laughs> so my brother is a commerce guy and i'm an engineering guy so pretty much same what happens here so i'll just is the same one the younger one the younger one leaves is living to bangalore living to bangalore job job yeah bro oh. we can use this fighting as an external conflict external conflict in a sense 
the outside fight that is happening you know like the physical fight the towel stuffs those are the external conflicts right the internal would be you know the elder is angry that the younger one gets a chance to leave the home but the elder one didn't was not even asked and the obedient one was uh, so ah uh, so that's this contrast right between this characters i would like to explore that aspect in the middle so the parents support the elder one because he's the obedient yeah he is the obedient one yeah so this makes this makes the younger angry younger angry even when he didn't make a mistake and again i'm sorry that my grammar sucks i'm just writing a uh, rough ideas as this my final script should always have very good grammar i can guarantee you that so yeah the younger angry even when he didn't commit a mistake he didn't commit a mistake commit a mistake so this makes both characters gray right so the younger is denied of acceptance from their parents and the elder never gets a chance to explore so evening this out is where the characters are matured and you know like that would be a healthy family kind of setup but these flaws can be explored as a drama in the story so i'll have a scene where they fight and the parents choose the side with the elder one because he never you know like he's an obedient one so i'm a type of writer where if one character can establish the requirements for the story i will just kill the father or mother <laughs> yeah so less characters means you get to involve with the one character more right so i'll start with maybe the mother you know the mother is always the passionate one with the elder kid because it's their first kid right we'll be able to explore this aspect of brothers where usually the younger one the arrogant selfish one you know it's not even selfish it's like preferring yourself over others even though they are angry that their kid younger kid is like that they love a little bit of trust to let them go out explore the world because they'll know like he'll be able to manage it but the obedient one the one that never you know like rebels or you know that doesn't the kid that doesn't have opinion on their own they'll be really happy that their kid is obedient but i don't think uh, they'll be able to trust him to the outside world because they know the outside world is like their younger kid they might misuse their kid and that scared feeling would never let their mother or father to let them explore the world i don't know if it's relatable but i i want i currently want that that space to be explored so the mother is angry at younger one for not obedient trust him that he can manage the outside world comes to elder happy that he is obedient but scared to let him out of the no well the mother would be angry at the younger one for not being obedient but at least trust him that he won't be cheated in the outside world or he wouldn't be you know like forced to do something because it's always his own decisions right and the younger one usually or the one that rebels always uh enforces righteousness being right being honest they never lie so never lies yeah maybe the honest characteristic can be explored silent one so usually the silent obedient ones do not have much friends i don't think this emphasis can be understood in one short film kind of or one drama 
I feel like it's more of a series kind of a story. But I don't want to think it as a series and write it. I'll just go with the flow. Uh, let's see what happens in the story. Any one thing that impresses me to work on a short film, it's well and good. Yeah. What else about younger and elder ones that can be explored? One more aspect of elder one can be, I don't want to fix the ages of these people, even though it's going for college. It need not be college specifically. I'm open for other suggestions also. Yeah. So the elder one, maybe, you know, like, if he gets married, he wouldn't be able to manage both of them. Manage both wife and mother. Because he would choose his mother. That would scare scare the elder elder one with the idea of marriage maybe the younger one wouldn't be appreciated when something good happens you know so when the younger one isn't actually maybe it's not that good but once in a while when he does something well gets marks or something like that that wouldn't be spoken around in the house but when the elder one maybe the obedient one maybe you know that would be like a festival in the house some celebration happens in the house and that always you know something that the younger one wants but you know he stays himself right so it's something that he wants but he knows that he will never get so he's okay with that but that makes a little angry over the elder one. Yeah. But right is done. But the elders small, small achievements would be appreciated. So I wouldn't call this session a story writing walkthrough. I could call it like an R and D for my story where you know, to set up these characters, what are the commonalities of these characters that can be explored in the story so that I can design a story around this. We haven't touched the story part yet. We are just exploring these characters, what kind of characters this can be, a character analysis. The elder wouldn't understand the concept of detachment, a little bit of detachment. So my opinion over this detachment, the younger one to exist independently, to make his own decisions, to go against their parents or go against their family to make his own decisions. He has to have a little bit of detachment. I mean, a very big detachment from the family for him to be that aggressive. You know, to throw away people, you have to have a little bit of detachment. I think there was a A.R. Rahman quote or an advice that he gave for the interview. A little bit of attachment with everyone is little good because, you know, people disappoint and... Uh, Having that little bit of detachment helps you not get angry over people in the short term. I, I agree with that a lot in a sense where you expect someone to be your close friend. You expect them to reply back faster. You would be too clingy over one person. You have too much attachment over that guy. He may be your best friend or he can be your long term friend for, you know, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. But that little bit of detachment would make you stop from being, uh, you know, too much clingy over that person. If he doesn't reply, it's fine. You have to turn up for other options so that you become a matured guy. So that detachment, the elder wouldn't understand because the elder would be always scared over disappointing her mother, his mother. Yeah, how about we explore the aspect where I don't know how much of them relate to this, but you know, whenever you take care of your family business, the family wouldn't have like a corporate structure to teach you, right? So they just tell you to do something that doesn't happen 100% right. You make a mistake. They're just angry that you made a mistake. They don't tell you, you should have done it this way. It's fine. It's your first time, right? So you have to do it this way. They don't give you a mind map. You are given a light. And you are given a maze to explore. So you have to go 
each route and check if it's the dead end and come back and check so whenever you're taking care of your family business it's like you get to view it but you never actually were involved before you actually is are provided that job right so it's always more of exploring with with the lights so that would cause a lot of you know like a disappointment you know self hate with the elder one he doesn't actually understand what needs to be done he's all he's the elder one would be the pampered one right so he'll be exploring each aspects slowly and he'll be doing it that would cause a lot of depression and you know self hate that why de- why doesn't why don't i understand what needs to be done so that aspect is the the elder one is confused with how to take care of business ah i don't know if you have seen this movie santosh subramaniam a telugu versions a remake is the tamil one or uh, siddharth acted in it i don't know. in the movie there would be a scene where the father would want the son to check the business and check how it's going the construction company and he would give him a set of tasks to be completed but by the time uh, the son reaches the office and starts to do the job the father would have already informed the managers that to take care of the job and make them complete it it would make the son look like a clown right like they would look at him like a pampered kid that would have a little bit effect on the elder one right so yeah and explore that part also take care of business uh the parent tells the workers what needs to be done and it is taken care of already so this aspect elder one how to take care of business scolded for mistakes without teaching in contrast our younger one is working in a it company so it will be structured he'll have his own time to learn and he'll be provided the space to you know make mistakes learn from it grow from it a corporate structure is much more you know yeah as i said corporate right so he'll have the time to explore and do those all stuff so the younger one is actually happy but he's stressed with that he'll always expect more than what you have right so the younger one and gets time to explore and understand understand the working process and gets room to breathe maybe yeah so these are the stuffs that i've gone through maybe you guys have a different perspective or the younger or elder ones roles can be replaced in some families but typically this is what i've seen in many of my friends families my own family some of the stuffs and in most series usually the elder one is the one that sacrifices maybe yeah elder one a lot sacrifices yeah so why do i do this characterization and these stuffs you know the research and development stuffs for these characters because this indirectly tells the story right what the elder has gone through what the younger has gone through it's always you picking a side so i have to make sure the story doesn't side with one person yeah the elder one is the sacrificing one right so he is the good guy he is the bad guy it has to be grace enough you know the elder one has its own secrets maybe yeah the younger usually is very honest right so being honest makes him the villain having those great characters make the story a little more interesting right so yeah so what aspect of this can be explored is it when the younger one goes to the college and the elder is picking up a fight without them knowing i always want to add that Uh, in arjun reddy movie there will be a brothers fight scene where you know the two brothers fight for 5 seconds 
and cut to they will be just uh, checking their wounds and both would be drinking uh, some alcohol stuffs together and they'll be talking about life normally like nothing happened so that aspect if i make brothers stories that scene would always be there so i'll just write that part also yeah it wouldn't be the same scene uh, i wouldn't force it into any of the stuff but you know that that's something that i always fascinate about very true right so two brothers fight like anything and they act like nothing happened so we can take this as a prequel you know what would have happened and start the story anywhere we'll try to you know like maybe imagine if it's a series i'll just have a random episode yeah episode we'll just work through that and we'll take any one aspect and explore that maybe i'm interested in making it as like a mockumentary of his parks and recreation flee back like modern family maybe i'm not getting much ideas from now so what i do i'll just make this video as you know character analysis of what my emphasis would be in the next episode once i get some ideas to involve in this and if this video gets you know like 100 views i'll try to make the uh, second episode of this particular uh, video and continue this story if i get some inspiration to work on it so in this video we saw about you know the characteristics or what kind of past can these characters have and what kind of characteristics and why they do it from my personal experiences from my friends personal experiences from series yeah so i'll just link the documents in the description and you guys can comment on it if you have any ideas to further evolve this story yeah i hope this video is helpful see you in the next video thank you